what's up welcome back to my channel it's been a minute since i talked to y'all if you're new here my name is Shelly chanel make sure you like comment and subscribe in about a month probably since i kept y'all up on my life and when i tell y'all a lot is going on a lot has occurred a lot has occurred i don't even know where to start but a lot of life changes have occurred since the last time i talked to y'all i really have just been trying to fulfill myself i've been doing a new health journey um, as far as making sure I'm eating properly to gain weight and been in the gym. I haven't been to solid core, but I have been going to the big girl gym. Yay, I have upgraded to lifting heavier and following this ladder app so that I'm able to get my workouts in and still have like a trainer to follow. If you don't know what the ladder app is, my mom actually told me about it. It's an app. I'll show y'all what it looks like. And basically, you just fill it in with all your information. You tell them like what kind of workouts you're looking for. If you have a gym, if you don't have a gym, what equipment you have, what intensity levels of workout you wanna do. And it basically just, um, assigns you an instructor and they set up workouts for the week and you literally can watch it and this is good for people like me who need discipline or somebody like telling them what to do structure in the gym and you don't really know where to start i definitely recommend it um because it gives me workouts every day so that way i don't have to think about or try to find workouts on youtube or tiktok but with that being said i've gained weight so I'm 106, my goal is 115. I've always been 98 pounds my whole life. I haven't been able to get over 100 pounds. And finally, with this new journey that I'm on, I have been able to get my weight to stick, which means I've been eating a lot of protein. So I'm gonna show y'all what I eat throughout the day, the type of meals that I eat in order to gain weight, as well as my workouts. So that's gonna be something new that I haven't really done. I've shown y'all a little bit of solid core, but haven't gotten to my workouts. Also, we got a new car. I had to let my baby Jeep go. JJ, that was his name, and I'm sad. I loved my Jeep. I love my Jeep so much. But she was old, and it was time for her to go. She had been through a lot. And I feel like with this new chapter, like me moving, me getting a new car, me starting this new fitness journey, I just feel like I have turned over a whole new chapter in my life. So right now i've also taken on a bigger role with my mom's company if you guys are new here i work for my mom's company um she has two but the main one that i've been working on is sepia transformation partners it's a real estate development firm um basically in a nutshell we develop properties from the ground up or we have old properties. Um, it's really cool, really cool transformation process. I'm going to start showing y'all some of that stuff from beginning to end. Um, it takes a long time for these properties to get built, so it'll be a while before I'm able to show y'all some of the transformations and stuff we do. Like we just went on a site visit to see a building whose structures are already up and just see the properties, things like that. But I want to be able to show y'all stuff that we're working on now and um the completion of it obviously that's what y'all want to see so personally right now i'm focusing on we got a 2.2 million dollar grant um in camilla georgia which is a very small town to build a health and wellness park it's a very small town there's not much there um they already her company has already built some homes there so around that area in a school, we got a grant to build a health and wellness park, which is basically like a trail. And then alongside of it, it's going to have like benches and gardens and workout equipment, like areas. I don't know if y'all have ever seen like the outdoor workout stuff. 
So I'm basically doing all the administrative stuff behind that. And then we just went to go visit so I can actually see where it's gonna be, what the people from the housing authority that we work with. So yeah, that's a mouthful, it's a lot. So moved, got a new car, I got a Benz. So there we can't see, I love her. Um, yeah, working out, took on a bigger role with my mom. So that's kind of been what I've been focusing on and I've been away from consistency with YouTube only because I had to really start working like Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Trying to get in a routine of being having to get up, sit down, sit down on my computer, work, get stuff done, and then balance building content at the same time. But now I feel like I'm getting back into my flow. So welcome back. Um, also, I have been on a natural hair journey, another chapter that I've started. I just feel like I'm really in a self-fulfilling era right now, trying to find things that will make me feel more fulfilled happier productive and really just focusing on what i want to do and who i want to be and that's kind of what i'm using this last month of summer to do is kind to kind of like build myself up to prepare myself for the rest of the year and figure out like what's my purpose and who i want to be and what i want to do and what what do i really enjoy so yeah that's where I'm at right now, y'all. Thank y'all for coming back and watching. To all my old subscribers, thank y'all for returning. And for my new ones, make sure y'all subscribe and come kick it with your girl. Hey y'all, what's up? So, I'm getting ready to head to the grocery store. Gonna get some, a few little items hot as hell out here it's 95 degrees but as i told y'all i got a new car so i wanted to give y'all a little mini tour of the inside of my new car while i wait for my car to cool down because it is extremely hot my camera was fogging it was so hot but um so here we are this is the dash which is super cute i love that it's touch screen all of that stuff here is the middle console has a little touch pad um, this huge sunroof is another one of my favorite parts open it for you when it's open it makes you feel like you literally don't have a roof on your car crazy I love it but I'm gonna close this because we trying to keep it Cool up, up. We're trying to keep it cool, and this sunlight is coming directly down on me right now. But the windows are tinted super dark. Uh, you can't really tell right now, obviously, but it has the bins, traditional lighting, everything in here. It turns colors when it's dark out. It's, I mean, it's midday, so obviously you're not gonna be able to see. But at nighttime, all of this lights up pink, and it's so cute. Well, whatever color you want to change it to. Um, so I had the Publix, and then we're gonna do a workout later. So I'm gonna take out to the grocery store. With me, I don't really need to get a lot of things, but just a few things. But I'll see y'all when we get there.
Hey y'all, what's up? It's been a few days since I've talked to y'all. Your girl has been busy, like, busy. It's crazy. I just got my tripod set up in my vlogging tripod set up in my new car. So now I can actually talk to y'all on my way to go do things. Today is now Friday. I had a long work week. I haven't talked to y'all in like two days. I have been working nonstop all day on my real estate development stuff. Um, from like 9 a.m. to 4, 5 p.m. Granted, I make my own schedule so I can work when I want to, but I've been trying to get back to Disney. So mama gotta make this money, honey. So y'all, pause real quick. I gotta get out and go grab this package. I'll be right back. I'm back. Child. Balancing. Working. My big girl job. And doing content. Um, just grasping like the ebbs and going through like the ebbs and flows. Getting my schedule together. Making sure that I'm able to do both. It just be a lot, but I'm getting the hang of it. I'm very busy, but we love busy, busy means you got something going on and you making money. This weekend, fast forward, rewind. Hold on. I haven't even told y'all. I know y'all probably like, where is she at? She's not in her usual house. She's not in here, her usual setting. What's going on? So I am currently in South Carolina. Um... I am staying out here probably for the rest of the summer. Um, my mom stays out here. If you're new to my channel, you know that my mother, who's also my best friend, who's also my boss, owns her own real estate development firm. And I am the project manager for her company. And I just took on that position. I went from being project assistant um, last month to project manager. So basically what that means is I took on double the amount of work and time that I'm going to be working. So I'm managing all the projects for her developments in different cities where I have to make sure everything is tying together, everything is getting done, everybody doing what they're doing, basically. So with that being said, um, I just thought it would be a good idea for me to come here so that I'm able to like do hands-on learning with her and also um, basically like she's just training me and vetting me and everything and it's so much easier for me to learn and be able to ask questions when she's right there in my presence versus doing, thing doing things over the phone and on Zoom. I've just found that I learn a lot better when I'm going hands-on learning, which I was always like that even through college and stuff. I need to actually sit there and physically write out something, do something. I can't just hear somebody tell me something and do it. That's just not, not the type of learner that I am. I love where my mom lives. It's so beautiful. I don't know if anybody has ever been or has heard of Charleston, South Carolina. Where she live is, lives is like the Sullivan's Island, Mount Pleasant area and filled with palm trees, very hot, a lot of beaches. It's a very vacation resort style place. Everybody drives around on golf carts um, and there's a lot of like older retired people that live here, um, people with them coins, okay? These are million dollar homes and things like that. I, I love it out here. It feels like a vacation. Obviously, I'm I'm working all, every day, but the environment, like every time you walk out your door, it feels like a vacation. Like I would have a vacation home here. I'm gonna show y'all while I'm here, obviously some of the city, so y'all can see what's going on and what the type of vibe is and what it looks like. But yeah, it's nice. And it's also, for me, 
it's an amazing getaway from distractions which i needed obviously like i'm a very focused like dis self-disciplined person i don't need somebody like telling me what to do or watching over me i'm gonna get my shit done but not having being in a city like being in atlanta and just having all the distractions and things to do every day all the time and all my friends being there sometimes it's hard for me to like say no and y'all know that i love going out going out getting drunk not being able to be productive the next day and with taking on the management position i have to work a lot more like double as much as i was doing before so it's a good transition into the position i needed it to stay focused to get into a routine a new routine of my lifestyle as i told y'all i'm like in my fulfillment era where i'm trying to find like my purpose what i really want to do who i am and yeah this is really helping me like i feel like i'm on a month vacation away from atlanta to focus and get my shit together ultimately so i'm loving it with that being said tomorrow there's this like sunflower field that i think i'm gonna go to that i've been seeing apparently like it's super popular here and it only blooms in the summertime and it's like thousands and thousands of sunflowers so i'm gonna take y'all with me there y'all gonna get some of that content and see a little bit of what charleston looks like tomorrow so there's that but also in other news my mom and I decided we're going to go on a vacation. So we're going actually next week to Playa del Carmen in Mexico at this crazy beautiful resort. I can't think the name off the top of my head. Of off of the top of my head. Gosh, I cannot talk today. So we're gonna go to that resort and cannot wait to vlog that for y'all cannot wait cannot wait so i need to try to find some little last minute we're literally like we literally booked the trip today and it's the fourth and we leave on the 13th so basically a week a week in a day we leave in one week so i have to try to order some quick little last minute items i have a bunch of stuff that i haven't worn that i've gotten for vacation before that i'm gonna take so i really don't need to get much but just some little pieces probably like a couple more swimsuits just because i've taken photo and photos and majority of my swimsuits so i do want to have some different suits for content purposes but other than that i'm really gonna keep it chill i'm not gonna do too much i'm gonna wear my natural hair which i usually y'all know don't do on vacation but i'm i've been like i told y'all into my curly hair and i think that's gonna be perfect because that way i can slick it into my bun i can wear my curls out i can do half up half i can do whatever i want so that's just the vibe that i'm in that's what i'm gonna do so i have to we're gonna fly out of atlanta though so i'm gonna go to we're gonna go to atlanta first so i can get some more of my stuff because like clothes and stuff because obviously i don't have all of my stuff here i just brought little stuff to have while i'm here so i gotta go get more stuff so i can pack for the trip so yeah we got a lot of stuff going on y'all it's exciting but i just got to this grocery store i'm about to go in here and grab some items i gotta get some more food for chanel i'm going to the gym tonight too i need to go at like eight i don't know if i'm gonna take y'all with me i'm not sure how y'all gonna feel about my gym content let me know in the comments if y'all enjoy it if y'all could do without it feel free to say that too i don't know how y'all feel about watching me work out or if that's something y'all even interested in being on my fitness journey with me i'm not a, a fitness girly i'm just stepping into that era so i really you know just showing y'all my journey more so not showing y'all what y'all should be doing but i thought it would be cool to vlog it and show y'all because y'all will be able to see my progress so might take y'all with me to the gym later I don't know yet but I'll talk to y'all later. I'm about to go get some groceries, my girl. Oh. Hey y'all. So I just got to the gym. Well, I just did my warm up. Um, I came in here kind of late today at like 8.45. I think I'm gonna start coming in here at night instead of during the day because there's a lot less people and that way when I'm tired after my workout I can just go back home and go to sleep so yeah 
I'm breathing hard, excuse me, because I just got done doing my warm up. But we're working on glutes and hamstrings today. So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of that. y'all so today is sunday i'm about to go try to shoot some content i told y'all i wanted to show y'all a little bit around charleston so this is one of the things that i've been wanting to do in south carolina is go to this dandelion field and take photos but i don't know what i did to somebody or what's going on but when i tell y'all nothing has been working in my favor today it just took me so long to do my hair I wanted to go for a curly, big hairstyle and the curls were not doing what the curls needed to do today. So I ended up putting my hair into pigtails. Didn't like that. So then we ended up coming up with this style. These two, I make this clip claw clip thingy with the back down, whatever. Like I'm over it. This is not what my vision was, but that's what it's gonna crisis didn't work out how I wanted to I hate how I did my makeup I hate my brows they're too thick just everything is not coming out how I wanted it to and then this is the kicker so I go on to the website to the place where the sunflowers are because I'm just trying to see am I able to take photos there just walk up like do you have to pay I'm just trying to check out to see why do I get on the website and it says that the sunflower field is closed? I mean, it's only open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 4. Today's Sunday. I'm just going to try to drive over there because I really want to take pictures in the sunflower field. It's so cool. And see if I can just pull up and hop out and take photos. And it's closed today, so I don't know if they have like security, if it's gated off. I don't know so we gonna see if not i'm gonna just find another place um a little palm tree area or something um plain white wall just to get cute little content pics the girls are sitting today i got this cute sundress on it looks like a two-piece set y'all will see it but it's actually a sundress it's super cute um, so I wanted to get some content for Opali in this. Let's get to this sunflower field and see if, oh, y'all can see more of like what my hairstyle looks like here. Hold on. Well, we're going to leave for Atlanta on Friday so we can get Chanel adjusted. We can, I need to get my nails done, my toes done. I need to get a wax. We leave for Mexico Sunday afternoon. So leave for Atlanta Friday, get to Atlanta. We're gonna drive to Atlanta. It's like a five hour drive, four hour, 45 minute drive from here. And then fly out of Atlanta to Mexico on Sunday. So this week I'm gonna work probably Monday through Thursday and just try to get all my stuff together. I hope that my packages come in time. Every time it's a last minute trip, I always have issues with my packaging, always. And 
I've got some really cute stuff that I want to wear and take photos in. So if it doesn't come, I'm going to slick be sick. <laughs> thing is it's like right off an expressway so this is a little dangerous because I don't know what I'm trying to do or where I'm gonna park and like run across the street but I'm about to try fuck it I think I'm just gonna run across this street with my tripod and see what I can get I hope this works and I hope it's worth it we gonna see what happens Y'all, my plan failed. <laughs> it failed, y'all. I ran across this highway, walked up and down the street, and there's like a ditch that you have to walk over, but it's muddy and watery. I'm pissed. I'm pissed because I can come tomorrow, but I just sat here and did my hair and my makeup and put this outfit on, and I don't want to do that all over tomorrow. So I'm about to try to find somewhere else to take a photo and if that don't work i'm just gonna have to try to do this again tomorrow i'm pissed though okay y'all found a place to take some photos i took a few but i'm starving so i'm gonna go back to the house um i'm gonna see after i edit them how i like them when i get home So it took me forever to find a place to take these. The parking on this island is like very slim and clearly everybody wants to go to the beach today because it's 90 degrees and sunny. So it took me forever to find a place to park, but I did. I set up my tripod, took some photos. Overall, I think it was a success. I think I got at least one or two and that's all I need. So I'll see y'all later. Good morning, y'all. I'm on my way to this TSA pre-check place. This place here takes walk-ins. Hope that I'm not in here too long because I do have to work. Uh, I definitely need TSA pre-check because the way I travel, if you ever flown in or out of the Atlanta airport, you know that it's a whole situation. But with TSA pre-check, you in Atlanta, you can check your bags downstairs and they can just scan your face and you can go right up. You don't have to take your shoes off. Um, to go through the TSA line. So I definitely want to get this done before we're about to go to Mexico. So that was so quick and it wasn't bad. Okay, period. They scanned, it was super quick. They took a picture of my face, scanned my fingerprints. I just had to answer some questions and then she told me I'm gonna get my known travel traveler number um, by email in the next three to 30 days. But my mom said hers came pretty quick. So hopefully mine comes um, our flight isn't until Sunday, so she said I for sure should have it before then. That way, I do not have to worry about bullshit at the airport. Thank you for choosing sir. Let's go get started today. Hi, I have a mobile order for Shalee. Okay, thanks. Let me show y'all what I got Chanel before my camera dies. This is the bone that she likes. 
if you have a dog, get Benny Bones. This is the bacon flavor. They have chicken and I think beef too. But she loves these. I got her a Kong to put peanut butter and treats in. This keeps them entertained, honey. And I'll show hair for a little while. And then this is the food that she eats. Y'all already know that if y'all been following me, um, the grain free fresh pet refrigerated food is kind of pricey, but with the Frenchie, you gotta give them some good shit, okay? You got my drink. Wait, is it a dress? Yes. I gotta see it on. Cause I feel like it would look kind of cheap. <laughs> I'm helping my mom pick out her looks for, well not her looks, she ordered some stuff for the trip. So I'm helping her. She's trying them on and I'm just providing more support and commentary on the background. Oh, it looks way better on than it did when you just held it up. I just don't like what um to go with that oh yeah the top to go with what remember those golden pants the top oh to the yeah i forgot that you had got them separate as separate and those pants are versatile and i think they look really cute on your body and they gonna last forever like when am i not gonna need some linen pants right every year of my life this is how we end it. Return we dinner one night. Right? Oh yes, that's perfect for a resort. Your eyes. I do not feel like going to the gym. It's the first time I haven't felt like going to the gym. in a minute. <laughs> y'all see the video? I know y'all saw the video of the Alabama boat fight. <laughs> Boats bring some shit out of people because we was fighting on boats. Boats? Boats? Boats bring out out of people. Boats. I don't know, have I ever told that story on my blog? I don't think so. I haven't? I don't think so. Oh, I'm finna get a story time. You did vlog the cruise. Oh, let me tell y'all about this cruise we went on. So me, my mom, my brother, and my grandma went on a cruise for Christmas, right? And the cruise was fun. We went on celebrity cruises. That's what it was called, right? Super fun, super like, over the top, very, it wasn't like um the Caribbean cruise festival, carnival, what is it called? Carnival, carnival. cruise that people be going on, like very classy, super, I don't know how to explain it. It was an echelon cruise. So we had a great time, we was getting lit. We was getting lit every night, going to these bars. Everything is unlimited, so we just getting so up. So the last night we there, right? We in this, um, what was it? Like a, it was a club. Yeah, it was like a club on the boat. And it had like a huge bar, a DJ. The DJ hated me by the way, because <laughs> I kept bothering him requesting songs every night that we went down there. But we at the club the last night and I was going through something emotionally. I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out there because before we went on the cruise, I had a crazy situation happen. No, while the first day we got there, some super crazy happened to me and it like, my mental was just off the whole time. So I was just irritated, angry, still trying to enjoy my family vacation, but I was just in a bad mood. Um, so <laughs> the last night, my mom and I are chilling with some drinks. We just people watching because they got music on, people dancing, we laughing at them. We sit in there and this Caucasian woman walks up and she goes, oh, where are you from? Just trying to have a conversation. And I'm like, oh, I'm from Atlanta. And out of nowhere, she just goes, how do you feel about Black Lives Matter? And I'm like, huh? She's drunk. 
remind you, and I'm a little tipsy. I'm like, what do you mean, how do I feel about it? And she's like, you know, with all this stuff going on, how do you feel about it? I'm like, I feel very strongly about it, and I'm not sure why you're asking, so just back away from me. So she walked away, my mom can see I'm irritated, and she, <laughs> if y'all don't know, most of y'all have seen my mom. My mom is black, fully black. She is a light-skinned woman. <laughs> we have had issues with this my whole life. People are trying to say she's mixed, and that's a whole nother story for another day. But my mom is a full-blown black woman. So we sit in there, and my mom didn't hear what she said. So she's like, what she say to you? I'm like, she asked me how I feel about Black Lives Matter. So my mom's like, what? What? What did she ask you that for? Why you ain't say nothing? So she making me feel dumb for not saying nothing. <laughs> and she's like, you should have snapped on her. And I'm like, oh. I told her to get away from me like we shouldn't be talking about it. So then my mom sees her again, which my mom had been drinking as well. She goes up to the lady and she like, what you come up to her asking about Black Lives Matter for? Like, what was your point in asking her that? Her boyfriend, the girl boyfriend walk up. So now my mom just going off on both of them. They trying to get a little sassy. We end up going separate ways. Cool. Fast forward. It's the end of the night. The bar is closed. And the bartenders loved us. All the bartenders were on the whole cruise ship all week. Like, they loved us. Every time they see me, they thought my mom and I were sisters. So they kept saying, like, where's your sister? Where's your sister? If they saw one without the other. But they just kept giving us drinks. We had a good time with all of them. So the bartender, oh, he saw, the bartender saw what was going on. Um, when they were arguing or whatever. So he came up to us down on the dance floor and the bar is probably like 20 feet away from the dance floor. So he come up to us, the music is turned off at this point. Music is turned off and the bar had been closed for probably like 20 minutes now. So it's still some people lingering over by the bar, but we just talking probably for like 45 minutes. We just asking him like, how does it feel about working on a cruise after we explained to him the story, what happened. We just started asking him about how he felt working on the cruise. How is it? And he just started telling us about his family, where he's from, and how it works when you work on the cruise and all that. So out of nowhere, we hear somebody from behind the bar scream out like, um, uh, whoever wants drinks at the bar, come over here. And it's like some Caucasian girl holding the bottle in the air, swinging it around from, like she went behind the bar. That's clearly the only people that worked there and like picked up a bottle and started pouring drinks for people. Her and the other people are over there. So the man, he was like a very calm person and he was like, why are they behind my bar? And he just like slowly walks over there and they're yelling at him and saying like, you're supposed to be over here making drinks, or what were they saying? You're supposed to, you not making drinks, you're over there talking to them, and you're supposed to be making us drinks, so we're making our own drinks. Yelling at the men, so remind you, he had been talking to us. So my mom being who she is, <laughs> she's like, they, they're not about to go back there and tell this man well, how he's supposed to be doing his job, and y'all not supposed to be back there while y'all talking to him like that. So she go over there, and she's saying this to them. And I'm just kind of standing in the background observing, and she like, why y'all back there doing that? Will he go to y'all job and, and start doing your job and yelling at you? No, so don't do that to him. Because the dude was very soft-spoken. Obviously, he's working. He don't want to lose his job, so he's not really saying anything. He gets on the phone to call, like, security or whatever. And the girl start going off. <laughs> the white girl start going off my mama talking about, I'm a server. I know how to do my job. I know how to do my job. He's supposed to be making drinks, but he's over there talking to y'all for 30 minutes. Started getting crazy, so now my mama done turned up, and some random man walks up, and my mom is yelling at the girl. They face to face like this, and my mom got her hand like right like this above her face. So I'm standing back, just observing, watching. I'm saying little tidbits to people, but I'm really not. I'm just letting her do her. She handling it. So this man walk up, and he put his arm on my mom's chest like this. So I'm my mama, this is the lady. The man come and take his arm and he's pushing my mom back like this. We don't know this man. I don't know if he with her, I don't care who you with. Don't put your hands on my mama. I instantly grabbed this grown man by the collar of his shirt. Back here he had on the collar. I grabbed the collar of the shirt, picked him up off the ground. My mom is here to attest to it so y'all I'm not lying. Picked this grown man up. He was probably like five, six. Picked him up. Threw up. <laughs> slung this man over onto the ground onto his back. 
You crazy? <laughs> I had super cyan strength. Cause why would you put your hands on my mama? So now I'm hunching on hitting with I'm spicy. I'm hitting them with the three feet spicy. Boom, boom, boom. No, mama turned around. She said all she seen was the man's shirt <laughs> go fly up in the air. She don't even know what he getting swung up for because she her back was turned. So she looking like, why is she doing that to him? And from there, y'all, it just turned into a brawl. I'm hitting him. People trying to grab me. So my mama grabbing him. It was Alabama all over again. <laughs> it, was, it was the Alabama boat. I'm telling y'all, this is boats drive people crazy. It's something about being on that water all day. <laughs> that just makes you look tremendous. So then, this is the even funnier part. So y'all remember the girl from earlier that I told y'all about that came up to me asking about the Black Lives Matter stuff. So why the girl walked into, back into the club, she left like earlier. She come back and she probably 50 feet, 50 feet, 50 feet away from me. But I just got done hitting the man, blah, blah, blah. They pulling me off. My mom pushing people that's trying to help the dude. We going off on everybody. Now he's done turning the black black people versus white people thing. It's just a whole thing. So the girl walked back in and she goes, what did she say? Something about this is, why does it always have to be? She said, what are y'all doing? This yeah. has nothing to do with race. Like yeah. real loud. When I tell y'all, I flipped out of my sandal, droop, droop, kicked them off. And ran. And <laughs> my mama didn't know where I was going, what and I was doing. jumped in the air. <laughs> I jumped out the shoes. And just spat. And ran all the way across the uh, ballroom. Knocked her out. So then I had, I saw her swinging, so I ran back. So my mom chased after me because she's like, where are you? Where is she going? She just see my little shoes on the floor. Follow me. Her man's sandals just sitting there empty. Her man's sandals just sitting there. <laughs> Perfectly. Sitting just like this on the floor. She come chasing after me. And of course, like her boyfriend, some other men was like trying to help her and move me off. So then my mama come hitting people, Wait. slanging people. We just... Rocking the boat, okay? Literally. Rocked the boat. And that was the funniest night of my life. My brother wasn't there or my grandma wasn't there. As I woke up, I could not bend my fingers. When I tell y'all, one of my, two of them were hurting, but one of them I could not move. And it was probably hurting for like seven months afterwards. Yeah. A good seven months, I still could feel that pain in my finger from that cruise. And as we were getting off the boat, there was like a scan thing you had to do. I guess they wanted to make sure every passenger was accounted for, everybody was getting off the boat, whatever, for legal reasons. My brother go before me and he went, thing scanned his face and he was clear, so he went off. I walked up to scan my face. It said, do, 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 and the red thing popped up like it was an alert on my name. And I seen, it was like TSA people. I don't know what they're called, but it was like TSA people basically for the boat. And they're like, you have to go over there and talk to them. And it was like these three men standing right there with patches on their thing. I'm like, I'm going to jail. <laughs> and my brother done just walked off on me. He didn't even, y'all had to go a different way oh, because Granny Betty needs special accommodations. So it was just my brother and I. This man didn't even turn around. He didn't make sure I got the room. He didn't make sure nothing. He walked off with his suitcase and his phone. And they talking about, ma'am, you gotta go over there and talk to authority. So now I'm thinking I'm gonna go to jail, but I don't know why. They just asked me some random questions. How they do like the random fingerprinting at the airport, whatever. But my heart started racing like, they got me on camera, I'm going to jail, but. Long story short, long boats story short. and drinking don't mix. Boats and don't drinking, do it. don't do it. Don't do it in Alabama, and don't do it in the Caribbean. Don't do it in the Caribbean, because. And it's hot out there, so you need to hurry up. So they won't let me bark outside. What if I go downstairs? For real. Yeah. That's the end of this weekly vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed my story time. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that y'all actually liking and commenting because that's what puts my videos up for recommendation and what is it called? 
oh, that's what makes my videos go up for like suggested videos for people to watch. So I know y'all watching, but just make sure y'all like it and comment it. That would be appreciated. Next video y'all see, we probably gonna be in Mexico. So I'll see y'all in the next vlog.